So, are you all set for your first early shift? I think so, and it starts at 7.15. Yep, 7.15. Right, sweetheart, 7.15 on the dot, let's go set up. Okay, let's get all these beakers labelled up. Good morning! Oh, good morning! Cedric, it's absolutely fine, he's had a lovely weekend. In you go, darling. Cheerio, cheerio! Bye, in you come, sweetheart. How is it 7.30 already? Hey, how are you doing on your first early shift? Hey, um, actually really badly. I've completely run out of time to get anything done. I haven't even got the breakfast. I haven't even had time to drop my little one off to your room yet. I don't understand. I was here at 7.15 on the dot. Ah, oh, do you know what? That is completely my fault. Although the shift starts at 7.15, we all come in and do overtime and get in at 7. It's the only way we can get everything set up for the nursery in time for opening at 7.30. Otherwise, there's just not enough time to get everything done. Oh, okay. I did wonder how the preschool and the toddler room has set up their room so fast. Don't worry about it. Look, none of my children arrived yet. I'll go get all your breakfast and I'll take your little one back to my room with me. Oh, thank you so much. Can I ask what you're doing with the overtime clipboard? Oh, I've been on the early shift this week and bar Monday, I've been coming in at 7am every morning, so I was just going to record it down. I don't remember asking you to come in at 7am. Oh, no, you didn't ask me. It's just I've been coming in early just to make sure I can get everything done. Your shift starts at 7.15. If you're coming in early to get extra stuff done, that's on you. It's not extra stuff, it's all the stuff on the morning's job list. The only way to get it all done is to come in at 7. All the staff do it. Well, to me, that sounds like a time management issue. So that is a you problem, not a company problem. I did try coming in at 7.15, but the only way to get everything done is to come in at 7. It's not a time management issue, there just physically isn't enough time to get everything done. Well, you choose to bring your little one in with you in the morning as well. Maybe that's what's slowing you down. No, she's brilliant. She doesn't slow me down at all. It's just there just isn't enough time to get everything done from 7.15. So everyone's coming in early at 7am. If you can't get all your jobs done in the time allotted, that is not a company problem. You can't put it down as overtime. Everything okay? Yeah, Marjorie said we're not allowed to put any of the early starts down as overtime. It just doesn't seem fair. <sighs> Welcome to childcare. So this is our baby room. And this is one of our staff members. Hello. I'm curious. My little one is breastfed. How do you feed the breastfed babies? It's whatever you're comfortable with. So we have some mothers who like us to use our formula during the day. And then when they come and collect at the end of the day, they'll breastfeed their baby just before they head home. So they'll fall asleep in the car. I didn't say I wanted to use formula. No problem. You're more than welcome to bring in your express milk and we'll store it safely. And then we can use that to feed baby throughout the day. Express, express my milk. Only if you're comfortable with that. We do have the facilities to store it safely for you. Absolutely not. My baby only takes milk directly from the breast. Okay, well, if you'd like to, you can breastfeed right before you leave him here and then again when you can collect and you can do both of those here. That's no problem. And what about during the day? Oh, in the past, we've had some mums that have come in in the middle of the day to breastfeed their little one. You're more than welcome to do that as well, especially if it helps settle them in for the first few weeks. No, I'll be working. So I want to know which one of you is going to be breastfeeding my little one during the day. Uh, um, I am very sorry, but we do not offer that service here. Um, none of the girls will be breastfeeding your child. It very clearly states on your website that you follow the parents' wishes and the children's routine to keep disruption to a minimum. Oh, of course, and whilst we endeavour to make sure the disruption to your little one's routine is as minimal as possible, I'm afraid I still cannot ask my staff to breastfeed your little one. It's just not something we offer here. Well, then your website is an utter lie. If you can't follow my wishes to have him breastfed here during the day, then his routine will be disrupted, won't it? We can 100% support you with weaning him and keeping to his routine at home. You can breastfeed here as often as you need to as well. But in terms of my staff, I cannot ask any of them to breastfeed your child, I'm afraid. You should state it more clearly on your website that your staff are unwilling to breastfeed the children. This is not the setting for me. I will be finding somewhere else. I wish you all the best with that. Would you mind just popping Harwin's socks and shoes on for me, please? Um, no. No? No. His feet are dirty. Um, his feet are clean. I can see them from here. I'm closer. They look dirty. Okay, well, if you think they're dirty, you can clean them before you put your socks and shoes on. You can, if you like. I'd rather not touch them. Seriously? Ladies, you've got to see what I spelt out.
Is everything all right in here? Um, I'm not sure. Celine won't put Harwin's socks and shoes on. Why won't you put Harwin's socks and shoes on? Because his feet are dirty. So clean them first, then put his socks and shoes on. I don't want to get dirty either. I'm sorry, what is going on? Have I woken up in an alternate dimension? Why are we even having this discussion? If the children are dirty, you clean them. Hi, yeah. Hi, um, Harwin, your mummy's here. Sorry, we're just about to get his socks and shoes. I'm ready for him to go home. Oh, great, thank you. And Don't I know you? I don't know. Do you? Yeah, we went to school together. Did we? Yeah. Oh my God, do you remember we had that silly falling out? Oh, how old must we have been? About 12 or 13? <laughs> we were 14, actually. Oh, so you do remember then? Vaguely. There you go, sweetheart. Okay, Harwin's all set to go for you. He's had an absolutely lovely day. Oh, thank you so much. And it was lovely to see you again after so long. Sure. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. So, you knew Harwin's mum from school, did you? Yes, so? So that would explain the cold treatment towards Harwin because you two had this falling out. I wasn't being cold to him. You wouldn't even meet his basic needs. And to my knowledge, that's called neglect. What? You heard? Look, I can hold a grudge as well as the next person, can't I? Yeah. But I would never pass it down to the next generation because I am not a psycho. Excuse me. Pack your stuff, your probation's at an end. Go. <sighs> Marjorie, you're not still holding that grudge against me. For spoiling the end of Titanic for me two years ago and telling me it sinks, you bet I am. Good morning. Is Percy all set for his first day? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Right. In you go, darling. Oh. 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 Straight in. <laughs> and how are you doing? I'm fine. Sorry, it's just uh, their first day can be emotional for the parents too. Well, I, I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Not not bothered. Right, well, hope you guys love today. See you later. Bye. Okay, Percy, that's a beautiful peg decoration. Look at your name all in red. And oh, it's all over both of our hands. Let's go and wash up. Okay, Percy, let's do your nappy. And oh, mummy only packed one nappy and all the wipes are missing. I think mummy was a little bit preoccupied this morning. Evening. Good evening, Percy. Look who's here. So, how is, it? how is he? How did he get on? He did absolutely brilliantly. There was a few tears after you left, but on the whole, he had a great day. Oh, I see. Okay. He does just need some more nappies and wipes for tomorrow, but other than that, he's all set. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Right, let's go. Bye. Bye. Marjorie, I... Oh, hello. Hello. Percy's mum isn't too happy about his first day. Oh no, is everything okay? No. What makes you think you have the right to cut Percy's fingernails? Um, I'm sorry, what? You, you cut his nails yesterday. Look at his hands, they're bright red, covered in blood. Show them, show them to her. Look at that. Oh no, 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 that's, that's not blood. It's um paint. We were decorating his name for his peg. It's red paint, look, it's all over me too. It's stained, I can get it off. His nails are shorter. I mean, they look the same to... No, look at this photo of his nails I took him before he went in yesterday and look at this photo of his nails after he came out. They're different. You took photos? Yes. Right. So, what do you have to say? I can assure you, I did not cut Percy's nails. Then how do you explain the blood and don't tell me it's paint? It's paint. I even put photos of him doing the activity on the app for you to see. I can't handle this, I'm going. I can't believe that. Percy had such a lovely first day. It's not Percy that's the issue. It's mum. She's not ready for him to start nursery. Oh, that might explain why she only packed a few nappies. I don't think she was ever intending to come back after the first day. I'll ring her in a year and see if she'll reconsider. Good morning. How's Lulu feeling after her week off sick? Oh, she seems to be feeling much better. Definitely back to her normal self. Oh, great. That's wonderful to hear. Well, why don't you sit down and get some breakfast and we'll see you later. Great. See you later. 
Right, Lily, shall we change your nappy and... Oh, dear, you're very sore, darling. Good evening. Good evening. Lulu, your nanny's here. How's Lulu been today? She's great, settled straight back in after a week off. Um, the only thing we did notice is that she has quite a severe nappy rash. Oh, really? Yes, unfortunately so. And as I say, it is quite severe to the point where it very could easily bleed. So we changed her nappy as often as possible and kept reapplying the Vaseline that you supplied. OK, well, I'll be sure to let the parents know. See you later. OK, bye. Bye, Lulu. Excuse me. Good morning. Good morning, Lulu. The nanny told us last night that Lulu came home with a severe nappy rash last night. Yes, I'm afraid that is right. Well, then it's obviously the nappies that you're using here. She must be allergic to give her a nappy rash that severe. Well, actually, it was when I went to change her while she was still wearing her nappy from home that I noticed the rash. And? And she had been home six days prior to that, so it couldn't have been our nappies that caused the reaction, especially when she came in with that rash already there. Ugh, nonsense. Here. Oh. <sighs> You'll use our nappies from now on because obviously yours that have caused this nappy rash. Do you understand? Uh, yes. Good. Right, Lulu, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Bye. Right, let's get your breakfast. Right, now everyone's gone home. I could... oh. Hello? This is Lulu's dad. Hello, how can I help? The nanny's just informed me that the nappy rash is still there, so you obviously weren't using our own nappies like I instructed you to. Oh no, we did. We only used the nappies you supplied from home. Unfortunately, the rash didn't get much better as the day progressed. I can't believe this. She's only been back for two days. And look at the state that you've sent her home in. Well, as I said yesterday, Lulu did come to us with that nappy rash after having spent six days at home. Don't you dare try and imply this is my fault. This is not any of our faults. It's your fault and those stupid nappies. She's having a reaction to them. It can't be our nappies. We started using them after Lulu had already come in with the rash. Maybe if you were doing your jobs properly, this would never have happened. Or maybe you stop blaming our nappies and let us use something stronger to help clear our nappy rash up. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How's Jerry been today? Jerry's been absolutely fine. He's really enjoyed the outdoor play area today. Oh, lovely. He's a... Uh, sorry, he's, a, he's, he's got a runny nose. Oh, Jerry, could you get yourself a tissue? Uh, sorry, uh, what are you doing? Um, you said Jerry has a runny nose, so I was just going to get him to get a tissue. What? Well, yes, but why is he having to get it himself? Why don't you get it for him? Oh, Jerry knows where the tissue stand is. He uses it every day. What? No, 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 no. Right, give me a tissue. Uh, Jerry, Jerry, come here, darling. All right, sweetheart, go to mummy. There we go. Let's wipe that nose for you. There we are. <laughs> Jerry, maybe you could show mummy how you wipe your own nose. Oh, no, no, no. He's much too small to be wiping his own nose. Here we go. Let mummy do it for you. <sighs> Honestly, do you not do this for them? Well, we try and encourage the children to be as independent as possible, particularly the ones in Jerry's group who will be going off to school in September. Hmm, I don't really like that. I don't think he should be expected to try and do this himself. The teacher should be doing this for him. Oh, of course, if a child needed help, we wouldn't just leave them. But we know once they go off to school, it's a lot harder to get a teacher to help each individual child. So that's why we try and encourage the independence now. Well, actually, while we're on the subject of independence, I noticed that he came home the other day and he still had a little bit of poop on him. Oh, right. Are you not wiping the children in the bathroom? We do encourage all of the children to wipe themselves once they're in the toilet, as in a few months when they go off to school, it'll be unlikely that they'll be able to get that kind of assistance from the teachers. Well, every time he goes to the loo at home, I wipe him. Oh, I see. Um, and that's every time? Yes, every time he goes to the loo, I help him wipe. Well, of course, if he ever needed the help, we'd be happy to do that. But in addition to independence, we are trying to teach bodily autonomy so that he understands that that is private too. Oh, he's much too young to be learning about that. Next thing you'll be telling me that you make them put on their own coats and shoes. Uh, we do encourage them to put on their own coats and shoes. See, now that's just ridiculous. I put on his coat and shoes for him every morning at home. Well, as I say, the reason we're teaching them this independence now is because once they go off to school in September, they won't be getting help with every little thing, unfortunately. Well, school's still a few months away, so I'll deal with it then. In the meantime, please help him with his coat and shoes, wipe him when he goes to the loo, and when he has a runny nose, go and get him a tissue and wipe his nose for him. I can certainly do all those things, but it will make school a bit of a shock.